from the river to the sea. Palestine will be What did you do for 10 years? For 10 years, what did you do? Fair. What did you do? There are no expectations on us. There are no expectations on us. I'm asking you a civil question. Am I part of the meeting or not? Heated debate, accusations, a little bit of mudslinging, and a storm off. An action-packed night at the Rochdale Hustings perfectly sums up the tense political atmosphere felt here in the northern town, ahead of the key by-election vote. Passions are running high, and with good reason. The underdog candidates have the best chance ever to achieve victory following the shock news of the Labour Party ditching their candidate as her Ali. After comments he made about October the 7th, suggesting Israel was responsible for the attack, sparking another anti-Semitism row, Labour have now effectively surrendered Rochdale, boosting the chances of the now favourite to win George Galloway, who's run on an aggressive anti-Labour campaign with Gaza at its centre. I believe in a ceasefire, a complete Israeli withdrawal. You talked about hostages earlier. What about the thousands of Palestinian hostages in the country? Uh, hi, so my name is Ikram Alatar and my family and I were first-hand witnesses of the genocide in Gaza. Uh, we were able to make it back safely, alhamdulillah, due to a lot of support um, from community leaders within Rochdale. Uh, me, as well as uh, my family members, are planning to vote for George Galloway because of his passionate and consistent support with Palestine. He mentioned in his closing speech that a lot of members um, in politics and in parliament are quick to change their vote and are quick to change their opinion within a matter of years due to lobbying whereas he has been consistent sorry he has been consistent on his stance with the Palestinian people for 50 years Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer will be terrified as they see me coming through those swing doors and you know why <laughs> Another candidate pushing hard for a win here is right-winger Reform UK's candidate Simon Danchuk, who accused organisers of refusing to platform him at the Muslim-led event. And you guys are stopping me as a candidate in this democratic process from speaking to the people of Rochdale. This is where you guys have got democracy in Britain today. And I have to say, it's absolutely outrageous and unacceptable. Like Galloway, Danchuk is a former Labour MP. However, Danchuk was expelled from the party over a sexting scandal involving a 17-year-old. Reform UK is a right-wing populist political party founded with support from Nigel Farage in 2018. Farage, along with its current leader, Richard Tice, have expressed what many consider to be offensive Islamophobic rhetoric. I actually think we need a law that explicitly says that no one can conduct in any walk of life in the United Kingdom Sharia law. Speaking to event organisers, they explained how the divisive politics of Reform UK has created major concerns among Muslim locals in Rochdale. We couldn't have all 11 candidates sat, sat there, we couldn't facilitate something like that. And we went through the candidates and what they stood for and what they represented for the Muslim community, the community in the heart of where the hustings took place. And there was prime examples of uh, anti-immigration, anti-Asian, anti-Muslim dialogue that would not be suitable for to, in that setting and it was our decision at that point with advice from the Electoral Commission to hold a non-selective hostings and invite the parties that, that are covering the issues that we as the Muslim community want to cover locally, nationally and internationally and be able to quiz them on that so we were well within our right to do, to, to do it the way that we did it. We understand that some people will feel that that's not fair but the, uh, the rules allow, allow it like in that way and we've got to make sure that we provide a safe space for those who are attending to be able to. So if they're attending and they're going to get abuse because of that they're Muslims and they are, or they're um, first generation, second generation immigrants, then that's not a safe space for them. So that is why uh, uh, examples of why we wouldn't openly invite uh, someone like Simon Jancic to come. OK, so it's Friday now, the day after the hustings which took place just last night, and I'm heading to a local mosque, the Blue Mosque here in Rochdale, where we expect to see George Galloway once again uh, canvassing Muslims outside 
the establishment. Uh, this is a tactic which he's been doing since arriving here and, and uh, campaigning in Rochdale. And uh, we'll get an opportunity to see how he feels and also how local Muslims in Rochdale again feel after yesterday's hustings. Reform UK have attacked Galloway's campaign for being obsessed with Palestine and divisive. Galloway had this to say in response. Well, their candidate, uh, Danchuk, uh, a disgraced uh, member of parliament here who, who, who polled 700 votes here when he was the incumbent MP after he'd been kicked out of the Labour Party, is running a straight Islamophobic campaign. I'm sorry to say that Nigel Farage added his voice to it last night uh, to my dismay. It's a bit ironic that Danchuk himself, when he was the MP here, gave his maiden speech on Gaza. He visited Gaza. He shook hands with Hamas in occupied Palestine. And now he's running on an anti-Gaza campaign. And he's going to, I think, get a derisory vote here. Second place at the moment, I think, are the Conservatives. But there's also strong independents. Uh, running. So uh, there are a lot of choices for people uh, who don't like me, uh, but I'm hoping there's only one choice for the people who love Gaza. Five Pillars has sent several requests to Mr. Danchuk for an interview. He didn't respond. As he marched off from the hustings again, he chose not to speak to us. They're allowing the non-invited candidates to speak at the end. I'm not waiting till the end. I'm either part of the meeting or I'm not. Which, which is it? Which is it? Do you want to call, mate? Which is it? Well, I'm not pointing at you. I'm asking you a civil question. Am I part of the meeting or not? Right. Goodbye. Are you going to answer any questions? Yeah. You said you wanted to speak at the event today. Why don't you speak to us, Five Pillars, Muslim media? Is it just the white vote that you're interested in, not the concerns of Rochdale's Muslim citizens? Yeah, yeah. Are you not going to answer any questions, Mr. Danchuk? You used to be passionate about Palestine, but not so much anymore, are you? Have you got your fill pointing fingers at local Rochdalean Muslims? You got your little uh, photo shoot for your right-wing audience. You say George Galloway's a divisive figure, Mr. Danchuk, but that seemed pretty divisive to me. Do you not care about what Muslims in Rochdale, their concerns? So after returning here to Rochdale, it's very clear that George Galloway is in very high spirits. He feels confident and emboldened, particularly after the Labour candidate has been ditched by the Labour Party. Uh, it seems as if it's an open goal here and George Galloway feels like he has the ability to finish strongly. Uh, the opposition to him, uh, he believes, is the Tory party. He doesn't seem to think very highly of Reform UK. However, it's clear that they are going into overdrive in an attempt to try and secure this seat as they themselves feel as if they have what it takes to try and galvanise the non-Muslim white British working class vote here to try and give them the edge. However, with the election day, with the count only a week away, everything seems up for grabs here, but it is very clear that now many Muslims in Rochdale feel as if not only must they get Galloway in in order to secure a vote to support the Palestinian cause, but also potentially what's at stake here is keeping a very right-wing party out which has expressed uh, what many claim to be Islamophobic anti-immigration rhetoric as part of its campaigning. Free, free! Palestine! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! In our thousands, in our millions! We are all Palestinians!